it was loading unnecessary data. The animation itself very laggy. Let's review their offices. Hey, what's up guys? Long time no see. I have catched myself that I, my last post was almost 20 days ago. And I questioned myself why. And the answer is fucking procrastination. Because uh, I always like looking for a perfect scenario. What can I like deliver to you guys? What like uh, advantages I can use in this video and so on but i never uh, sat in one place to find out the answer so i was always sorry i am heading to office right right now and yeah i always uh, postpone that day where i need to just take the camera and start shooting right So today is the day, there is no scenario, there is like no uh, prepared shooting locations and so on. I will just head to office and work with my colleagues. We are working on uh, rewriting our dashboard. So we need to discuss the architecture, the approach that we will use for us to not like rewrite it again, right? For next time. So yeah, let's go. I'll take you guys with me. Oh, guys, if you guys remember that uh, I had a pet project clipboard manager and like almost two or three months I was developing that and uh, successfully finished like a week ago and decided to uh, ask my friend to test it out. So, so I added my friends to test flight and they don't know, downloaded my app, but damn, unfortunately my app was so laggy, it was freezing all the time, it was loading unnecessary data, like it was really bad. The user experience, everything was really bad. And I, I debugged my application why it's happening. It was happening because I was using SwiftUI and it's not that that Swift UI is bad. It's just I never had an experience developing app on macOS. I never had an experience developing app with Swift UI. So what I decided, I decided to use both. <laughs> so either I uh, implemented it wrong and used it wrong, or the technology is not ready like for my use case. But the final final version of application was really bad in user user experience. So I decided to rewrite the whole UI with uh, it's like old technology with AppKit only. Um, so yeah, I started a week ago and almost finished that. I'll I'll show you the update how it looks like right now and how um, smooth it works right now. So yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> All right, guys, so 
I have my coffee and it's almost end of the day so I'll just take my laptop right now and I'll show you what I got all right guys let's do some debugging and demonstration so basically the approach that i used with with swift ui i don't think that i used it right because i tried to combine two approaches with like uh, imperative programming and declarative right uh, what's the different imperative you just say like hey you view that's my data take it and update it with declarative you everything you do is state based right you just update state and based on that state views updates itself so i think the uh, approach that i used it was wrong so let me show you difference between uh, when i did it with swift ui and uh, and when i did it with app kit right let me show you so let's let's see yeah as you can see it since it's only nine uh, items inside it looks okay that's how i tested every time i was cleaning i was like adding items and testing with like with 9 10 maximum 20 items but when my friend tested with 55 with 100 items they the game changed right so let me add more items as you can see it's very laggy and if i create new sections right okay section 3 and let's go back to history loads forever right and the animation itself very laggy so let's try the another approach that i was rewriting like a whole week it's with a native old component as you can see it's much faster even with 55 items it's very smooth and let's switch to section 2 and back to history as you can see it's again it works as it should be right so that's what I was doing whole week and also guys uh, I wanted to tackle one thing uh, maybe you guys thinking about making your YouTube channel or like uh, building it public but you don't know what to start with or you're you're struggling with showing your real progress don't worry guys because i understand one thing 20 days in a row i didn't want to make a video because the end result that i was building wasn't that what i was expecting right and i was like no um i have to show my perfect case i have to show my like I ideal result like if i don't show my idea result it will be that something that people will think that i'm bad coder and, and stuff but guys we're all humans right we all make mistakes that's how we learn so if you guys thinking about to either i make it perfect or not you better just do it something in the middle right just don't try to be a perfect everywhere show your real progress uh, that's that's what the built-in public uh, means right just you just build how you build and show your real results without some like instagram youtube like perfect cases where like you don't do any bug you don't do any mistakes just from first time first straight away you have a perfect code that's not how it works in the real world so just show your real results that's what i decided at least right I, I decided to show my real results even if it has a lot of bugs even if it's ugly but that's the reality and i don't want to 
try to be a perfect. I just want to be a real. So, yeah, that's what it is. За снимали его трафик, получили OpenAI AI ключ. И все, начали додосить, и ему счет нагнали. По-любому надо через Cloud Functions обертку написать, который будет внутри себя капсулировать ключ, который просто сам будет ходить. И даже если ты запрос словишь, он не покажет тебе, что он отправляет на OpenAI. Damn. So I really wanted to stay late after work and work on my own project, but friend of mine works in a really large company in uh, Russia and uh, Kazakhstan called Yandex. So they have they built up new office uh, in my city. I have arrived. So let's review their offices. Here is the whole building they have built it up from ground. Нет, я... Салам, как твое дело? Александра. Блин, при порядке. Сейчас на запад. Мы общались сейчас. Да, мы этот, созванивались? Мы сегодня будем делать охуенный обзор. Alright guys, so that's the next day. I came to the office in a uh, like a, in a co-working space where me and my friend renting office and finally we can work on our project. So let's go. Yesterday I showed you guys uh, the demonstration of my rewritten like a uh, new clipboard manager and right now I have uh, I have to implement things to find out local events, right? When you press local command C or, or whenever you press command V, I need to catch it locally. Um, and yeah, so we should work on that. So let's go. So again here I have a local event, event monitor where every time I catch the local events like this. This one is search F press. I have to activate the search bar. And then this one is a handle command C, the local one. And there is the rest, but everything I already like will mention out in preferences where you can where you can look it out and see if these comments you uh, you'll be used these comments for example you'll go to shortcuts here comment f activate search remove quick look and so on probably i'll add more of those but for now i need to add observer to those local events so let's go
All right, guys. So for today, I have finished everything that I planned out. I added a bunch of different types of uh, combinations where you can iterate through a side table, where you can iterate through uh, like the item uh, with items. And I also have fixed some small bugs that I had before. And the major thing that I need to add right now is drag and droppable, right? If you guys remember from previous video, I already implemented, implemented that with SwiftUI. But right now I have to re-implement it with a little bit older um, technology that the Mac OS provide. So yeah, I think I'm gonna work for I'm, I'm gonna work on it tomorrow, but for today I'm ready to go home. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video.